I'm sitting in a library, enclosed, encircled, and compassed by books. Books with yellowed pages, scribbled notes, unfinished endings, with the beginnings that ended way before they even began. And I see torn out pages flying before my eyes, pages that were dog-eared so long ago that they began to believe they were born that way. The wall in front of the library reads, Earth has no gender, but artists do. It is a sunny afternoon in 2021, and I have an interview question to answer. So, what is it like being a female artist? Well, same as being a male artist, except you don't get asked that question. You see, we female artists have a sordid history, a history defined by the rules of genitalia. In 1956, when a Sahitya Award winner gets asked if she is only popular for her beauty and paraphernalia, I'm sorry Amrita Pritham, but it wasn't for your youth and beauty. It was for your progressive notions against heteronormativity. It was for your resistance and your rebellion in the stance that you held, in the life that you lived and the battles where you bled. I'm sorry, female artist. It is 2021 and the wall in front of the library reads, art, art has no gender, but artists do. Rewind. 100 years before Amrita Pritham, in the land of beauty, bounty and freedom, in 1859, lived the Bronte sisters in England who began to publish their writings under a male pseudonym because their writings wasn't what we considered feminine. I'm sorry Bronte sisters, but if it wasn't for your unfeminine words, then feminism would just be an F word that no one utters. I'm sorry Frida Kahlo, I'm sorry Amy Winehouse, I'm sorry Amrita Shekel, I'm sorry Arundhati Roy. It is 2021 and the wall in front of the library reads, Art has no gender, but artists do. Fast forward, April 2021. Female artists are still considered more female, less artists. Our biology is under scrutiny. It is no less than a mutiny that 100 years forward or 100 years behind, we are still asking you to change your mind. We are asking you to look at art with a heart. We are asking you to not determine it by a chromosome. So before I leave this library and began to walk back home, I marched towards that goddamn wall. I see torn out pages still flying before my eyes. I touch them, I fold them, I scrunch them like they're stereotypes. I take down that wall, I crack it open, I scatter and smash those bricks like they're prejudices just waiting to be broken. I scream and yell with the same enthusiasm that Madame Curie must have had when she discovered radium. So that I can stand in front of all of you in this stadium and tell you for once and for all that art has no gender and neither do artists. Thank you.